what is DPI in Procreate? In this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly what DPI is, does, and what to set it to in all of your projects from here on out. What's up, everybody? Visual Timmy here, and I get this question a lot. What is the DPI? What am I setting it to? What should it be? Um, does this affect printing? All of these questions. So let's just go right into it. There are a lot of myths about DPI and people just kind of have it all wrong. So uh, the first myth that we're going to bust real quick is that DPI for web should be, you know, 75 or 72. Here's the thing. If your artwork is being exported and shared online, screens these days have way higher pixel density than 72. So setting your uh, DPI to 72 is not going to do anything for your Procreate projects. They will display based on the width and height pixel resolution. If you set a 1920 by 1080 pixel uh, image, you draw it up, you paint it up, you do whatever, and the DPI is at five. And all you're doing is sharing it online. It will look no different than if it's 1920 by 1080 set at 3900 DPI. There's going to be no difference that you can see with your eyes. Um, a lot of programs will set it automatically at 72. And this is an old thing that happened with really old Macintosh computers that actually had 72 pixels per inch on their screens. So this has just been a long standing thing that programs will do, but it doesn't affect anything. Now the flip side, if you're going to be printing what you're creating, then the DPI is incredibly essential. So let's go ahead and switch this over from pixels to inches. So let's do an eight by 10, which uh, I think a standard piece of paper is eight and a half by 10 and a half or eight and a half by 11 and a half, one of one or the other. And if you have an eight by 10 and your DPI is set to 72, when you go to print that, it is not going to look good at eight by 10. It's going to print much, much smaller. If you want your image to print in the quality that you're seeing on your screen at 8 by 10, you're going to need to set your DPI to 300. 300 is the standard print DPI. So if you want your images to look good when printed, make sure to set your DPI at 300. Now, a lot of the times when you're creating projects, you don't know if it's going to be printed in the future. You don't know if it's just going to be shared in the internet or if you're going to want another version that's printed. So my best advice would be to always set your projects at 300 DPI, no more, no less, and don't touch it. This means that if you're ever working on a project that you're going to want printed, depending on the width and height that you have set, you will get really nice quality with 300 DPI. The DPI in Procreate is going to affect the amount of layers you have. So here you can see an 8x10 with 300 DPI, we have 89 layers. Let's say we do 150 DPI, which is going to be half as small when printed. You can see we have a 368 layers now because Procreate is taking into account how large this needs to be printed. So if this needs to be printed only half of eight by 10, if it only needs to be printed four inches by five inches, and we're only doing 150 DPI, then it's telling us, hey, we could use as many layers as we want, basically, because we're not taking up that much space once it's printed. So if it only needs to be this big, then it you don't have to do that high of a resolution because it's so small. Your eyes won't even be able to see. The printer can't even print that many pixels. So that's why Procreate is going to give you that extra layers. But if you do something like 600, you see that's going to only give you 19 layers. Printers aren't going to print at 600 DPI. It's just not a thing. So we want to stay at 300 DPI. It's what standard printers are going to be uh, using. And it's going to retain the original size that you chose here. In your width and height. So if you know what you're printing, if you're printing an A4 or whatever, punch in your dimensions and make sure your DPI is 300. You shouldn't have to touch it after that. 
if you don't know your size and you're just working with pixels, I always like to use canvases that are around 5,000 by 5,000 pixels. This is a really good starting point. It's large enough that you have 22 layers, which should be enough if you can manage your layers properly. Every so often you might need to duplicate your projects, flatten some of the layers down, but that should be enough to work with that it's pretty large as well, so you shouldn't have too many issues. Anyway, I hope that this answers your questions about DPI and Procreate. We busted a couple myths about making your DPI too large, which doesn't do anything, or making your DPI 75 for web. That's a myth. That doesn't make any sense. So just be aware of how big you want your thing to be and how much DPI you're going to need to print it at an accurate size. So stick with 300. You should be good to go. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned something, press like and subscribe. It helps a ton. And I will see you in the next video.